Hello everybody, look, something's been really annoying me recently, something's been really, really peeing me off. And that's these bloody Just Stop Oilers, there's no one more intolerable than these lot. Now if you don't know what they, they are, uh, don't worry, if you don't know who these lot are, then lucky you. They're the most annoying people I think I've ever seen on the internet. So they believe in, just like a lot of people, that oil is obviously affecting the world, speeding up global warming. They, they've decided that the enemy is the common people, the normal people, the me and yous of the world. They, they believe that that affecting us and annoying us and peeing us off is actually the way to go about it. They've started disrupting roads, they've started disrupting events, jumping on tennis courts, jumping on snooker courts. So all the people who they need on their side, the normal people who are just wanting to go about our everyday lives, they believe by disrupting us and peeing us off, we're going to be on their side and want to join them. So look, we're driving in the car, broom broom, I know. We're driving in the car, broom broom, heading down the road. Oh my God, there's loads of traffic. What's going on? I'm going to be late for work. I'm going to get told off. I'm going to miss my Starbucks. I'm not going to get to work on time, meaning I'm going to have to stay longer and postpone my work, my meeting at nine o'clock I'm going to miss. And do you want to know why? Because these donkeys felt it's necessary to bring their bloody wheelchairs and their bloody banners on and sit there blocking the road. It's disgraceful. They believe that blocking our streets and peeing us off and making us late and affecting us is going to have a positive effect. I can assure you any sympathy, kindness or any involvement in this has completely been destroyed. They are the most intolerable people I have ever come across. So you see, they hold hands with their funny haircuts. Some of them went to the British Grand Prix last year and sat on the track. Some of them nearly wanted to be turned into paste, get run over. It's disgraceful. Uh, you know, they're sacrificing their lives. Like, as you can see, I'm not a big fan. Look, they even went on the bloody tennis. The Look at this. They're, they're not young either. It's not like they're rebellious teens fighting against the system. They're old fuckers who aren't going to live long. They're going to drop soon. You know, with all these great things there is so many cracking videos and fails that we're gonna watch today so I'm not sure George Osborne I don't know who that fucker is former chancellor so he's a prick uh, basically so he had his root his wedding ruined which you know I'm not exactly gonna complain about Church, greeting family and friends at which point they appear to be set upon by a just off oil campaigner throwing orange confetti on the bride and the groom she looks so happy with herself didn't she Look at that little smirk. Oh, I've got it all in my hair. <laughs> I've ruined a wedding that no one really gives a shit about, aren't I? Hilarious. Oh god, I can't wait to go viral. That's all it is, they're just looking for clicks. Looking for that fame I see through the BS. They don't give a shit about the environment. See here, look, we have a classic case of let's block the people's roads just to really pee them off and get them on our side. I don't understand why they think this is going to work. This is just going to annoy people. It angers them so much, they'll turn violent against you. You want these people on your side. You want to grow. You want to accumulate more numbers. I understand the idea is oil is bad, oil is bad. All right, it is not great. I get that. But I promise you, what's more annoying than oil is these lot. And think about it. They're blocking cars. What do cars use? Oil. So they're just using more fossil fuels. Like, they've not thought about it very long and hard they they just thought what mm, look guys we've, uh, we've got no uh, plans so uh, what's uh, what shall we do i don't know i've got these banners so why don't we just like roll them out in the middle of the road And here we have what can only be referenced as the real life batman a man coming to save the day Oh, they hold hands. Oh, hold my hands. Oh, get fuck out way. Most of these people are older, aren't they? There's no young blood there. Imagine being that front car. You'd be like, oh my god, I was so close to get through the lights. Wow. Look at her with a bloody flower pot on her head. That's how you do it, lads. That is what you do. He clearly had a business meeting. He knew how to do it. Oh, look. Here's Wimbledon. So, no, no one's like, yeah, what a guy. Legend. Write his name in the papers. <laughs> Security, you're hopeless. Imagine you just sat there watching things like, is that, is that bloody grandpa? What's he bloody doing? Oh, 
Oh, see, they stop one. The lady failed. God. I wish one of the public just ran on a light, flying elbowed him. That's what that's what these people require. Blunt force trauma. Don't do it, no! No! How do you think you get your avocado? It's not wrong. Look at them. They're fucking OAPs. Pensioners, retired. They got nothing better to do than ruin other people's lives. They didn't do this when you wanted to get to work. I love that. Justice taking it into your own hands. It's 26 people arrested. Do you reckon they go to prison? Look at this bloke. It's bloody that guy from Smash Mouth. Mate, you need an army. You need at least... Look at all these idiots with their phones in their hand. Give them a hand. Another valid point, just hypocritical. They just want to be famous. I'm telling you, they're doing it for the clicks. Oh, God. What is worth more, art or life? Or daddy's trust fund. Oh. That wasn't even just Doyle, mate. He just got fucking flattened. That's America. You know what I mean, see? It just requires a little bit of force. And one thing you do not fuck with is scaffolders. Trust me, I know a few. Again, see, this is how you do it, taking care of your own business. Well, on him. I was going to say, you can't, you can't, this lady here, grabbing onto him. You, you can't do that, lovely. You can't do that, but look, these lot need putting in prison, or maybe... I have a better idea. Well, how about we give him an island, corner him off, give him no electricity, nothing. The only we'll give him like one pig. We'll go back and visit them in a couple of years. We'll see how they've got on. I can guarantee you they're not going to be alive. How's that? Anyway, that is all. These lot need putting in prison. I think the island will work much better. See you later, guys. Cheers.